Um, let's switch gears here and talk about the lab. And for those of you who have been to the lab and have seen the pictures that line the hallway, you can appreciate the love and the compassion that jumps out from the walls in the offices. You see the hustle and the bustle with the tremendous amount of activity taking place. Um, and it's really important to know that 75% of the funding to support that lab comes from FOP family fundraising, endowments, and donations. But Dr. Shore, can you tell us a little bit more about the lab? Sure. Um, well, the lab has grown quite a bit since 1991 when um, I was first recruited to Penn to work with Fred to set up a research program to, um, to start FOP. When we started, it was uh, me and Fred and uh, some, some empty rooms. Um, um, and gradually, uh, a couple of medical students joined us part time to uh, work with me to initiate um, some, some initial experiments. Um, but with time, um, as um, our ideas have grown and our knowledge has grown, um, we've uh, developed a, uh, a good team of people, uh, medical students, graduate students, uh, postdoctoral fellows, um, research specialists, uh, collaborating faculty who have worked with us on uh, various aspects and a number of questions. Uh, of, uh, of FOP research, and uh, it's really quite, quite an exciting place. I think um, it um, takes time for all these ideas and projects to develop to where we reach um, a, a milestone and we reach a, um, a point where we feel we've accomplished the next step in, in our learning, but uh, it is a very ex exciting place to be. I agree. Uh, it's it's um, it's been a terrific experience for for Eileen and me. We we have different backgrounds. We come from different areas and realize that each area of knowledge won't solve the problem, but together uh, the interaction will solve will, will help solve that uh, that problem and get us from cause to cure. And um, it's been one of the great. Uh, and, and extremely exciting adventures in life to be able to to learn mo molecular biology and to have uh, Eileen come to the clinic and we we often share insights that help us move move this work forward that I think is absolutely critical to to the success of the mission.